Giddy up. Giddy up. <laughs> We're on our way to the Elfin Sanctuary. These wolves are adorable. I love them so much. No barrel will survive. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. These elves are these wolves are vicious as fuck. Hell yeah. <laughs> Red tree's gone. Looks like someone has been logging this area, Gloob. I wonder why. Looks like our wolves ate these trees. Oh no, they must have been hungry. What? <laughs> How did the guy go flying like <laughs> that? <laughs> That's my favorite thing. I will never complain about people flying into the air. <laughs> So, are the Empire sanctioning these poachers? Yes. That guy really smells magic. Apparently. <laughs> hey, boss! <laughs> smells like magic out here. <laughs> yeah, these Empire guys should really get some good soldiers on the field soon. <laughs> They're really outclassed already. Yeah! Gravity hurts. Oh, shit. Now to answer your question about the wolves. Your mounts won't follow you into certain areas, sire. And like all primitive beasts, these wolves are afraid of fires. Don't worry, they'll still be here when you come back. Our minions aren't afraid of being lit on fire though, apparently. <laughs> oh, that don't give a shit. So here we are in the Elfin Sanctuary. Hurry up! I have a warm oil bath and a large plate of quail's eyeballs to attend to. Of course, Boreas. I thought you'd like to meet some of the brave men who secured the magical creatures from the, uh, area. And these are the lucky ones. What's up with you, Maximus? No, I wanted to call me Miss Trixieville Buttercup Fairy. Um, what? Are you serious? <laughs> And you can all come and visit me when I move in, <clears throat> in, into my mushroom house. SIC Species Identity Crisis. It's a terrible thing. We have no idea what this is, but it was well guarded. Well, make sure it doesn't eat anyone, and then bring it to my town hall. Foolish fat human, that's a spellstone, sire. It unlocks the magical potential of any who possess it. Better not let it fall into Boreas's pudgy hands. Scene. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. That's not fair. He only needs two men instead of five to carry that. Well, anyway, back there's pink things. Yeah. These are going to come up later, but they're used for smithing, and they're kind of hidden back here, and they're not they're, rare. They're they're, you jello. can find them around, especially in this area, but they're nice to have a little bit of to smith later. What are these empire jerks doing in this elf cave? They are killing magic things. Yep. They are ridding the world of magic. Yeah, apparently they don't like magic, or they really like magic. One of the two. We'll find out at some point, I guess. But that's definitely the elves, so that's why they're here. Why are some of them so fat? <laughs> that's the because fat people are funny. <laughs> okay. Because they're wealthy. Yeah. So even though these guards are apparently worth two and a half minions each, they sure don't uh, hold up very well. <laughs> it's all lower back strength. <laughs> Maybe it's not heavy, it's just hard to hold and minions have to spread out. Yeah, they got tiny hands, man. Oh, what's that? Looks like a fairy. Welcome to the sanctuary, creature of magic. No, do not let this barbarian in, Dryad. He is an enemy to all that is fluffy and adorable, like this poor fellow here. Don't worry, Lord. I'm sure you'll find a way to bypass that pesky plant person. We can actually hit her, but she can't be killed. So we'll come back. This is inaccessible right now. It's over on all over again. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> This looks like a shard of netherworld rock. Perhaps it will become active once the netherworld accepts you as its true overlord. Oh, oh. I don't even know what that means. I don't know what happened here, but their loss is our gain. Quick, pick up that spellstone. As soon as Grubby can build a gate... Did they die to a bunch of birds? <laughs> Not quite. <laughs> well, at least we got the spellstone. That was easy. <laughs> I'm not sure I want it. <laughs> oh, it's over there now. How'd that happen? What the Come here. Get back here, birds. 
He said that spellstone we stole belongs to the gnomes. Now, he's either declaring war or he wants to marry you to his pet dormouse. That's clearly an act of aggression, sire. What? <laughs> Exterminate those squeakers. Oh, These things declared war, get them. <laughs> Kill a thousand those. Yep. I do think that ore is supposed to be rare, but I mean, we just got two of them, so it's not that rare. Yeah. Gnomes seem to drop it all the time. These are probably the weakest enemy this game has ever made. Yeah, well, it wants you to kill a thousand of them. Yeah, well, that quest, we might get that done off screen, I think. <laughs> no, just make it a whole separate video, it'll be fine. <laughs> we'll get back to that. Ah, Nordberg. Maybe 13 winters have passed since you were last there, sire. Soon you will return. Once more on the feasting of Midwinter's Eve to finish what you started. Revenge is a dish best served cold and screaming. The Empire is fighting the gnomes too. But... And somehow they can't deal with them. They're trying to steal your quest credit. Gnomes are kind of hard to hit. With our big guy, it's a lot easier. Just use minions. Oh my god, they won't stop squeaking. <laughs> <laughs> Object. Oh, what's that? We'll find out right after we kill all the gnomes in the area. Yeah. It's more important to me than objects. I'm assuming it's a minion control spider or whatever. No, oh, it's red. It's obviously hell. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Only 957 to go. <laughs> hey, that's almost 5% done. <laughs> so gnomes do this... Back to the Quiet, no. So gnomes do this thing where they carry off items forever. If they get them to their lair, it just disappears forever. Like, he had armor on him. He would have taken turn. that away. Sometimes there are one-of-a-kind drops on the floor that they just take. <laughs> Gotta be careful not to let them get away with things. That's messed up. That's the only thing they do that is of note. And Governor Boria said he wanted stuffed widgeon at the Midwinter's feast. I said to the wife, what the hell's a widgeon? Oh, that's part. I was just absorbed by this conversation, but this is one of those things that you couldn't believe how long it is. <laughs> and I, I sat here listening to it, I'm like, okay, I might as well wait, you know, since I've already started. <laughs> And yet he's put together. Yeah, but you know, at least we got folks watching over us. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> while we starve, you mean? So they're starving, great, There's whatever. No good eating on a widgeon anyway. What the fuck's a widgeon? Aha! Grubby has managed to bring you a netherworld gate master. Holy shit, how did he build that giant <laughs> thing? <laughs> I'm not quite sure he actually builds it so much as it just comes to be. Ah, a command upgrade. You can summon more minions to the battlefield ah, now. I was right, Chitlin. Oh. Take that. Oh, I, I don't know my overlord. <laughs> In your face. <laughs> Look at all that evil energy surging into you, Lord. I don't quite know what spell is unlocked within you, sire. If you run into some townsfolk, do feel free to use them as test subjects. Ah, sound the alarm! Run for the gates! Seems the locals are just lining up to try out your evil... Naro, you just fire. said you didn't know what spell it was, you fire. <laughs> the peons have set fires outside Nordberg to ward off their midwinter's demon. They are throwing firecrackers to make a wall of fire. What? I don't think that's and we, how that works. <laughs> we, we can't go that way. But our spell is the domination spell, and we are out of range right now, but what we do is target them. We cannot kill peasants with our minions ever. We can hold them while we cast this. Huh. Ah, groveling. Clearly the stone has unlocked the evil presence spell. They're now bound to your evil will. But if you had the spell for longer, you'd have killed them outright. Enslavement or death. Domination or destruction, these are the great overloading choices, sire. 
So this game really did well what the first game tried to accomplish with the two choices being evil or even more evil. Like minions, but if you get bored, you can always kill them. I definitely think that seems more fitting over the good versus evil for an overlord. Yeah, so we have two flavors here. We can either kill everything or enslave it, and we have to do it all this way with this spell. And we can improve this spell to make it faster. Now, are there any other good spells in this game? Because I don't remember We'll get to those someday. Than... Yeah. There are some other ones, but they aren't uh, anywhere near as powerful as they were in the first game. Oh. This, I'm going to guess, is a health totem chitlin. No, it's clearly <laughs> it's clearly a minion command to item. No, no. The no. peasants are taking credit for finding that for us because they're <laughs> sucking up. What? <laughs> Wait, did that guy just run into your your <laughs> portal? You've got a health upgrade, sire. Very nice. Less so, since your minions can't attack the peasants, you've got to do this all by yourself. That's right. Oh, no. Your minions will surround the peasants and keep them from running away, if I remember correctly. <laughs> we don't get mana back for killing them like we do when we enslave them, so killing them actually is harder because we have to run back to the fountain there and heal. Oh, they call it a fountain, but it's a portal. Whatever. You can create your own human shield I monster. took a poll on the thread to see which one they wanted to do, and Domination won handily, so that's the primary focus. We will show the differences, though. But that's all we can do here for now, because we don't have reds. Let's go home for the first time and check it out. Yeah. All right. See our, what our fortress looks like in this game. It's in the netherworld. has accepted you as its master! Oh, I knew it! I knew it! Do calm down, Quaver. We don't want another accident. You are indeed our true overlord. It's somewhat of a relief, sire. We didn't want to have to bury another candidate. Master! The Netherworld will be your new seat of power, lord. It's a little on the cavernous side at the moment, but now you're properly here, we can start to refurbish and expand the tunnel system. This will allow us access to other areas of the world where you can establish your new dark domain. I feel a small poem is going for it. He just slid in there. Oh dear, he's off again. <clears throat> there was a boy from the Nordberg town who sent the locals screaming. But now the boy's become a man. He'll start his evil scheming. He's very jittery. Sorry, sir, <laughs> Sometimes there's no stopping him. And believe me, I've tried. This is your throne, sire. And it's not just a place to rest your evil posterior. You can teleport around your domain from here. And it will also alert you about recent events and quests. Why don't you try it out? And then let me know if you'd like to take the tour. Janitor minion will chase that rat forever. <laughs> <laughs> this definitely seems like an upgrade over our last tower. And we could actually sit on the throne this time. <laughs> yes! Yeah. Game of the it's year! Properly, <laughs> properly sized throne. I know this place may be a little uh, upside down, but it's all yours, sire. So we have three tourism things and an actual quest. We'll get into the actual quest later. Let's go on a tour. Maybe you'd like to inspect the Netherworld Foundation's master. Very good. Follow me, Master. Yeah, we gotta take a look at our new place. Yeah, whatever that is, let's do it, Gnarl. Let's <laughs> ride a disc. What the fuck? Oh shit. That's fucking magical. <laughs> because I took the tourism off the map instead of walking there, he doesn't even explain this disc, but he will later, don't worry. Greetings, <laughs> <laughs> Sire. Welcome to Foundations. Master can order big netherworld buildings here. Oh, we found the forge. Giblet is a particularly robust minion, sire. Been around almost as long as I have. This forge builds weapons and armor here, but needs reds to power me. Aww. Minion Giblet ready to receive orders. No forge for us to use yet. Aww. Let's forge something, master. That's okay, we're kind of poor anyway. We don't have <laughs> much in the way of anything. We got quite a few of those red crystals, but 
that's not all we need. And here's our current armor, in case anyone's curious. We don't see any stats or anything, but it is named. Yeah, I suppose. Why can't we use that big ass hammer? <laughs> These are dark crystals. Pure evil energy that's become crystallized. Very powerful and very rare, sire. You may find them useful. That crystal we just found is one of 30. There are a limited number in the game. You can see it's needed for the upgrade on the browns. That's one of the many upgrades it can do. Ooh, nice. We need to keep an eye out for those that are laying all over the place. There are five in this very castle. <laughs> or fortress. So let's go get them while we explore. Very, very rare. <laughs> well, they are still rare. We're going to need like 24 of them. <laughs> There's five of them, they just stick them in vases in our castle. <laughs> they are rare, though. I don't know why they don't just give them to us, but they they did. No complaints here. Yeah, we need those for some serious upgrades. We would be pathetic if we don't find some of those. The natural laws are a little bit flexible here in the netherworld. Step out of the rock, sire. It's probably safe. I mean, perfectly safe. From here, you can travel to the other areas of the netherworld. This is Construction Minion Giblet, sire. He's overseeing the construction of the new Dark Tower. We met already. <laughs> me in Mortis. He oversees the life and death of the minions in the spawning pit. Uh-huh. <laughs> you can view the latest information about your domain from the comfort of your throne, Lord. That's clearly a blue. What, what is he doing here? We haven't gotten blues. So, Giblet does the construction and the foraging? Does he also do the cooking and the cleaning and the... <laughs> Chiplet does whatever needs doing at the time. He does construction and foraging. And both of those things require crystals. Oh no. The Minion Burrows are believed to be the birthplace of the first Minion. He who dug his way to the surface to serve the very first Overlord. After we lost our last master, and before the Great Cataclysm decimated the old lands, here we've remained, searching for our next bastion of evil. Minion Mortis is in charge, that is to say he facilitates your decision, sire. Spawns new minions, tends the souls of the dead, make sure they don't come back with the wrong head, that sort of thing. Minions, we live, we serve, we die. It is what we are. And what we will always be. Someone get that minion a lozenge. Barracks, the spawning place. You bring me life force. I bring you. The barracks are where minions live when they're not out causing chaos with you, sire. It's also where we keep the hives, which allow minions summoning. Unfortunately, during the exodus, several minion hives were lost. We only managed to retain the browns. I'm sure they'd love a visit. So here we can resurrect minions for life force. Bark, scrot, I like it. <laughs> Do not fear, master. The newly spawned will be sacrificed. So here we have a really good minion that Don't died worry. somehow. Let's minions get him back. Minions will happily die for their master. Several times if necessary. Uh, he was probably back. the guy who got killed by the fireworks. Come on, scraps. Welcome aboard, Scraps. Yeah! <laughs> Aww! <laughs> that was adorable. Death is your friend. Give death a hug. <laughs> <laughs> well, the primary reason to explore this place is that urn over there, and I know there's, there's two in this area, so I'm looking for those, because we need those dark gems. Mm -hmm. They are pretty much the limitation on our forging ability, so I'm looking around. The minimap helps a lot with that. Oh yeah. Make sure I cover the whole place. No red minion. I really like the look of this place too. It's really he used to let them roast rats on his side. They were lured away by wisps, dark creatures. But we believe they're living in a volcanic area nearby. Breathe gone. The greens left during the exodus. They said they smelled something reeking and split from the main group. They're such stealthy types. We blinked and they were gone. Talk in the spawning pit says they've made their home on a jungle island. Here be Browns. Browns are strong. They live. That's right, Mortis. 
Browns are your main melee fighters due to their attitude of hit first, jump up and down on the carcass later. Alpha Viscera. Oh, yeah, I forgot they all got little titles. Yeah, based on what gear they're wearing, they are named. And that guy we resurrected is our best Brown, so I'm glad I brought him back. Yeah. I love how upset Mortis is about the missing menu stuff. So. <laughs> it's so sad. Okay, there's the second Dark Crystal, and we already saw the third. The things to see here are the four hives and the resurrection place. No blues! Oh. No. This damp spot is reserved for the blues. Their magical inclination meant they felt most lost without an overlord to guide them. They retreated to the nearest watery area. Strange fellows. We have no idea what's happened to them. They're just playing in a lake with some ducks. You see dead <laughs> minion, sire. This is the graveyard. You can view your recently deceased minions in the temple and resurrect your favorites. But life has a price. Life or death. Death! Indeed, Mortis. If you wish to resurrect a fallen minion, you need to sacrifice minions of the same color. Oh, that's fucked up. Alright, I'm gonna bring Scraps back to life. But I gotta kill 20 of you other guys. Well, that doesn't <laughs> seem fair. Eh, yeah, tough luck. Get in the pit, itchy and scratchy. Yeah, that's the way it goes. Oh, you even got your own minion guards. Yeah, they salute. That's awesome. That's the best thing. There's just, there's so many little details in this game. It is amazing. Ah, so good to get the smell of evil around the place. Yeah, it even smells evil. Dark Crystal number four is just sitting up here, <laughs> waiting for us to get <laughs> it. <laughs> just put it on the balcony, why not? Whatever, I don't care. <laughs> Ancient Crystal of Power. This is a lot bigger, too. And finally, we have the private quarters. This cavern will be your private quarters, master. It is traditional in overlording circles to find oneself a mistress or several. Keep an eye out for a suitable candidate. You know, something to make the room look pretty and to waft about the place. I'm quite partial to a bit of wafting. I like how they don't even put the gold in a room this time. It's just there on the wall. <laughs> vertical. It's just a bit of pile of garbage. Hell yeah. The Dark Crystal number five is in here. And that's it. We'll have had all the items to this point. That's a good start. This layer is so much bigger than the last one. Yeah it's, yeah, it's kind of too big, I think, but it definitely looks good. Yeah, there's nothing over there. I think it gets upgrades later. There is a reason why it's as big as it is. Mm -hmm. It will fill out, but right now it is just empty space. I was just looking around because I think the outside looks really nice with those floating rocks. Yeah. <laughs> there it is. Way out here in the outer rim of the uh, private quarters. So, like I said, that is forging equipment. Let's us build the unique stuff. We will need it. We've already got five. This is your magic room, sire. By collecting spell stones and catalysts, you can expand your magical powers. Magic is clean, carnage, sire. No wear and tear on your weapons. Not so many entrails lodged in your armor. Got to keep tabs on the old magic, sire. That is that is totally cool. See, <laughs> so <laughs> fucking look at that. So we have three <laughs> spells, and we don't have the other two yet. There they are. Spoilers. Make sure you keep an eye out for catalysts, sire. For such large artifacts, they're always getting themselves lost. We can upgrade spells in this game. Shall we check your magic? And there's only three spells, so you know, take your pick. I guess it's not too many upgrades for that, but we can upgrade them. We will do that at some point. We don't have the means yet. Yeah. Let's go to our mighty throne and have a sit. I like sit. The only thing left to show, I haven't shown it yet, is the status screen, which shows a lot of stuff. It shows our alignment up there on the top right. There's our dark crystal count in the bottom. The pink crystals are those common crystals we need for forging. Target, minion, and halo are spells and how much strength we've got them. We've got a quest tracker, we can choose our quest and all that crap. 45 gnomes out of a thousand. <laughs> uh, maybe later. <laughs> anyway, it's a very nice status screen, shows you everything you need to know. Let's sit. You 
can view the latest information about your domain from the comfort of your throne, Lord. And next time we will do that other quest. Hear what that guy has to say.